So, we had a question in from Larry GJ4764. So, hi Larry, um, your question was, you would like to know if there's a quick way to add facial burns to a character so that an avatar without face rig can take advantage of facial expressions and visms in iCloud. So yes, this is possible. So um, I'm gonna very quickly just drag in a character you might recognize. It's one that is just downloaded from uh, Mixerman. So this has brought this in with the uh, Mixamo rig. So everything's rigged up for animation. That all works really well. Um, but if we look at the bones, we don't have any uh, facial bones in there, which you don't necessarily need, but they do come in handy for, you know, for the jaw movement and eye movement as well. Though you can get around with doing it with just the morphs. This is definitely better. I'm going to try and hide the eyes, so I'm going to quickly edit the mesh. So now um, we've got the Mixamo rig, which doesn't have the facial bones. So what I would suggest doing here is now resetting up this rig with AccuRig. Rig, and you'll find other tutorials on there, so I won't go into too much detail with this. Um, I'll extrapolate the guides from the skeleton, because that should line everything up uh, without having to go through and do too much tweaking. Okay. Generate facial bone. So I want to generate a new skeleton. So this is going to add in um, bones now for the eyes and the jaw and the teeth and the tongue. And we'll position these eyes. Um, it's probably best to turn off midpoint placement here. That's fine. We'll put the jaw around here. Drop that there. This is top teeth. Not percent sure if that's okay, but I think that'll do now. It'll do the job. Fine skin. Okay, so we can turn Ekerig off now. So now again, the um, body motion should work. There's a bit of weight map issue going on here. That's easily fixable with the weights, but again, not gonna go into that one just yet. Um, but you will see that there is no animation on the face because as far as I know, there's no weight maps set up for any of that and no facial morphs. So, First thing we want to do is go to skin weights. So let's go to the eyes. So where's the eye bones? Uh, eye right. So that's going to be the right eye. So I'm going to set that to. So I'm just going to grab that selection and I'll make that one. Then I'm going to go to the paint tool. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to make sure that I've got the inside of the mouth. So I'm going to grab that selection there and make that one. And then we go to the paint tool and we're going to try and blur that in a little bit around here because it doesn't need to be. Look how that works now. So if we go to proportion and face, and we reset jaw, and we'll take that one. 
like start doing it with you, so Ah, okay. <laughs> so, don't make the mistake I've just made. I'm going to um, go back to... So here we're going to go draw, draw root, and then this one we're going to do this selection. So that should be correct now. So if we go back to portion, we go to the draw. You can see it's already kind of opened anyway. We can use that. And then eyes are rotating. But realistically, the eye position probably needs adjusting. Um, to do that, and again, I'm not going to spend too much time in doing it, but you can go into uh, Just Bones, go to Face, and you can probably see that. It's probably good to change it into orthographic mode for this, but I'm not loving that. But like, it'd just be a case of um, that eye bone would need to be moved backwards, I think. Or forwards, whichever one works best. But basically, it just it just needs to be uh, moved into the middle of the eye, so you can see that rotates a little bit better now. Um, but you can spend a bit of time and just line that up and get that looking right. So, okay, so we've got the bones in the face now, um, all rigged up. Now we need to fa add facial expressions, and that is with the facial profile editor. So in here. We want to go to edit expressions and then basically just start adding expressions. So simple ones that we've just done, draw open. Um, to do the draw open, we go to proportions. In the proportions modify tab, we could, oh, we don't even have to get to the modify tab. We can just use the rotate and we can select that jawbone and rotate the mouth down how we want it close that then if we wanted to um, edit that anymore we can go to the edit mesh and you could either use the sculpting tools or the um, soft selection I'll put a mirror on a Move these out a bit. And we go to vertex. Uh, the soft selection works really well. Um, I should do that. The red is down. We could um, play around with this now. The best way to do this though, if, if you've got um, ZBrush um, using the go Z, uh, go Z function, to send the model off to ZBrush and then send it back, um, you're gonna get much better results, um, but you can be done in the edit mesh as well. But anyway, so now we've got that one, we press this update, and now we've got our draw open, blend shape, um, and then it's a case of going through. You don't have to do all of them. Um, if you're gonna be using facial capture, you know, you just go for the main ones that you're gonna be using, but it doesn't need to have all of them um, done. Um, and then also you've got the Vism track as well, so you can set these up. So let's just do a quick one. So like, um, if you wanted to do mouth funnel, you could use the slider that you've got for there. Then 
We can go back to the edit mesh tool and we can use soft selection. And then go back to, like say, the funnel, update that, and then that's your funnel shape. And then you can actually use these to, um, like when you, if you want to add the visims to the character, so like the, the open, you can use the jaw. Maybe minus. And um, and then so you can you can build these ones up. So that one could be like the So the more you've got the more you can start blending together to make the other ones. Um, and then also with like the eye movement, um, if you want to do eye look eye left look left so left eye so if we go to proportions step the eye move to there um, that means come out of proportions and we'll set that one to eye left look left and then you can do the same for eye right and keep going and the same with head head up and down But again, um, it's just a case of going through now and building them up. So, like, you, know, you want to do the smiles, uh, you can just go so left smile. You can save that as smile left. I'm going to keep that one on. And then go back to edit mesh again. So I'll kind of use that as a reference to make sure that this one matches up the same. Now oh, and turn off edit mesh. Make sure to turn the left one down because I don't want to add that onto the, the right as well. And there we go. So now if um even with just those few that have been done, if I go in and do facial full face test, it should show at least like one of the eyes slightly moving. Um, and some But with a little bit more time, um, you can build up all those and it doesn't take long to do, really. Once you um, once you've done it a few times, you get in some good flow and you can uh, build them up pretty quick. And as I said before, the more you've got, the quicker it is to use um, different things to build up the uh, facial expressions. So that you can use different morphs to um, make different shapes and blend them together. So hopefully that answers your question. If you've got any other questions, please feel free to ask.